about、uh, finger coloring with rubber cafes glitter. <laughs> I share with you my、uh, stamping in my junk journal journey, and it was this here. Is and these are like two different colors on this page, and then that's this is three colors. And I want to show you this one more. I love how this one came out.、It、shows so well. And again, this is glitter and stamping. And I wanted to share with you the technique I learned、um, at Expo from the, the Rubber Cafe and the demos they had.、Um, a list of supplies. So basically, you just need your common supplies for stamping. This right here is just an eight half by eleven、uh, cardstock. Then、uh, your stamps, of course. You can use whatever kind of stamps. You can have acrylic stamps or even rubber stamps. I have these out. These are my Christmas ones. I'm going to be making tags and covers for cards. And again, rubber or clear, it works great with both. So, the next set of supplies is going to be specific for this、uh, method of glitter coloring. So, the first thing is Rubber Cafe's Scrap Happy Sheer Glue. I love this glue. As you can tell, it's halfway, and this is actually my second bottle.、Um, then you're going to be needing. A cut and dry stamp pad adhesive,、um, adhesive、uh, foam. Now this is, this is how it looks. This is a packaging it comes in. To remove the、um, glue, you need a very thick, a very、uh, strong wipe. Baby wipes wouldn't help, but. The good thing is, you nearly, you really don't even need that much of the cleaner. Well, this one is already a lot, but you can just snip it right there, and you're good to go. And this is still pretty full. And then you will need, where is that? Look at, um, paper plate. <laughs> I'm so dumbfounded right now. Paper plate, or even like scrap paper, is just something you to put your glue on. Because you're gonna be needing a、uh, flat surface to apply your glue on top of, and then of course you need the glitter. Again, this is Rubber Cafe's glitter, and it is microfine and cosmetic safe. So I love that glitter. And yes, let's get going. All right, guys. So let's get started. I'm gonna apply a generous amount. Oops, sorry. Apply generous amount of glue onto my paper plate. I'm just that's generous for me, I guess. <laughs> you could always put more. So what we do is you're gonna get your and you're just kind of like tap, tap, tap. Okay, I don't know if you see that. And then you want to tap it onto your stamp. And you see how? Do you see how?、Um, It's milky white, and that's what you want. That's how you know that you have your glue on there, and it's ready to go. Now you don't want it like saturated, like really heavy, but you do want it there, and you can see that it is milky white. So I don't know if you guys can. I don't know if you guys can see that. So then we're gonna get the stamp, and yeah, I'll just stamp it right there for now. And just how you would normally stamp with an ink pad, with ink, just. Now there is color to it because I did use this stamp previously, but that's okay. So at least it's actually pretty nice. I just guess you can see, but it has gone on there.、And、then we're gonna cut a piece of this. Oh goodness! I... <laughs> While the glue is drying on our of our image. Which takes about you know about a minute. It really doesn't take that long, especially because it wasn't a big image, nor did we use a lot of glue.、Um, while that's drying, we can clean that off, kind of take care of two birds with one stone, kind of thing, or multitask. I don't know if that made any sense. <laughs> okay, so I mean that's it, ready to go. Let's go with chocolate truffle for the reindeers. And then, diva pink, for the first one. We'll pretend that's like Rudolph. And then,、um, 
Let's see here. The sleigh will make it, let's make it like a little teal. Sorry, I'm off frame. Okay, and what I do, I just kind of just get it open and ready to go. Look at that. Oh, that glitter. It's gorgeous. I just open them all up and get them all ready. Okay, so remember I said the first one I wanted to do, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm sorry, I'm taping at a different angle. I will try to get a close-up on this. Let's see if I can do that. Oh. All right. So I literally, I'm just going to dip my finger. Look at that. That's all. Because it's a red nose. <laughs> and I'm just going to do this. I have a napkin there on the side. Then I'm going to get the brown. Same thing. Look at that. And I'm going to just literally finger color. Right before your eyes. It's magic. Kind of a big red face maybe, but that's okay. <laughs> And see how you can control your glitter? It's the least amount of space. I mm. top some for my fingers. I can feel it on my finger. Even here, look at that. Even like the loose glitter that's over there. Use every ounce of glitter. So it's not, it's not only great as in when it comes to making a mess, you also don't even use that much glitter. You saw me, it was just my finger, and I'm just kind of recycling the glitter that was on there, that was on the paper. And then, not much, again, I'm just, I can just, you know, go on the side or get my little napkin, I just kind of dip there, same thing, same finger, look at that. Just dip, simple, and same. So I tap, even like I said, with my nails. So I mean, yeah, you may be dipping a few times more than normal, but I mean, to me, it's well worth it. I don't mind doing that because I'm just using the glitter that I need. And now I'm starting to burnish it. And then. Now we're all done. I don't have, oh, well, I have this kind of brush nearby me just then. You can just brush the excess. Look at that. And look at that. That's all that glitter all together. Save it, use it, and whatever you want. But there it is. So th I'm going to be working with an acrylic stamp. I'm going to be using, oh, sorry, this one right here. It's the same process. <laughs> You're going to get your foam pad, the clear side. And I'm just still going to even use this. And again, you're just going to tap, gently tap it so you can get a nice consistency in there. And again, you're going to tap it on your clear card. Now, it's going to be a little bit harder to see just because, again, we want that milky, that milky, um, so on the stamp, but you can't see that because it is clear. So what I would suggest is when you get your glue, just kind of tap it to help disperse the glue on the pad. And then when you tap, it's already kind of already, has a lot of glue and it's already, um, what's the word I wanna say? It shouldn't be so clumpy because you already kind of tapped it and thinned it out on your plate. Okay, so I'm gonna do it again here. Um, just like you'd stamp with an acrylic stamp. I don't know if you can see that. It's down. Sorry. Let's see if we can. Oh, there we go. So a little bit. So you see? All right. Put this aside to dry. And again, as we're waiting, I'm going to get our stamp cleaner wipe. So uh, it's still drying. Our project is still drying. But in the meantime, I'm going to be choosing colors. I still want to keep it like a Christmas theme. So I'm still going to be use the fur green. This time I have patriotic red. It's good, good practice to do that. Oh. 
and then desert sand. Well, maybe I'll do it like So again, I am going to be dipping my finger first, just like this. And then applying it directly onto the stamp image. Now this one, I want to kind of have no rhyme or reason. I'm literally just going to be like, wherever I feel like putting it is where it's going to go. I'm going to catch all that loose glitter and just let it go. Now I'm going to be in the green. And then my red. So it's, it's catching, pretty. look at that detail right here. Look at that, see? Isn't that just, just so gorgeous? And the reason why it's so nice, it comes out so well, is because as you are putting your glitter, you're also burnishing it in there into the glue. And so it's filling up all that space, and you can even go over it, and you're not even going to be hurting your previous work with the glitter. Let me get some over here. And a little bit over here. So you really can just... I'm telling you, like I said, finger glitter. Design how you want your end product to look like. What I'm doing is literally just putting whatever color anywhere. There was no color in mine. Not like this one. This one I did. I had my, if you check here, the red, brown.